Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a Magic Review. Today we're going to talk about mentalism. Ooh. If you've watched my channel for any amount of time, you know that I love card magic and mentalism a lot. Those are my go-tos. Those are my primaries. That's where I spend my time. So a lot of our reviews here at Magic Orthodoxy are about card magic and mentalism, but I do other stuff. I do other stuff. Uh, I also do uh, deck reviews as well. I review playing cards and I also do giveaways. I do giveaways of magic and playing cards every single month both here on YouTube and over on my Instagram channel. So make sure you're following me in both places because I wouldn't want you to miss out on any reviews or giveaways. Make sure you hit like and subscribe, hit your notifications, hit that bell, hit all those things that you need to hit so that you don't miss anything and you'll see your favorite reviews and giveaways when they go live. Today, we're looking at modern mind reading magic from Z and Sans Minds Creative Labs. All right, so modern mind reading magic, modern mind reading magic from Sans Minds. Uh, Z, uh, so uh, I've done a couple reviews for him already, uh, his partnership with Sans Minds. It's always coin magic. Coin magic was surprised to see a mentalism DVD, and that's just what this is. It's a DVD, nothing else. DVD case inside, you get a DVD. It's one hour and 26 minutes long shot like a lot of other Sans Minds uh, videos. Sans Minds makes great DVDs, by the way. They do. Uh, great studio performances, uh, great studio setting, lighting, sound, HD, microphones, background music. It's all beautifully well done, beautifully edited, right? Uh, but yeah, even at the beginning, Z says, you probably know me only as Coin Magic, but he says, if I'm ever out there in the real world, he says, I do a lot of mentalism. Like mentalism's his thing, that's his jam. So I was like, yes. You know, I, I kind of thought Z was like this coin guy uh, and I was like, ah, but you know, mentalism guy. All right, so we, we connected, we connected. Mentally, we connected. All right, so what this DVD is, is it's 10 tricks, right? 10 vignettes, 10 effects uh, that are very simple. They are, they're very simple. They're not all, uh, they're not all surefire. I think there's like two, two that I would say are not 100%, but everything else is. And uh, like I said, yeah, simple, easy, direct, creative. Let's talk about those 10 tricks. First one is Apple Watch, and it has nothing to do with Apple or a watch. Uh, it's <laughs> the spectator selects a random city and a random time zone from your cell phone, and you are able to discern the city and the time at that spot, at that moment, in that city. Uh, Breath Mint is a tabled open prediction effect. Eye Billet is a way for you to use your phone as a billet and a peak device. College tuition, you take out four cards, uh, the spectator doesn't see them. Spectator then deals through the cards and then they select one at random, they hand it to you. And when you flip all five cards over, they have handed you the last card you needed for a perfect straight flush. Bunny Star is Z's billet peak. It's very simple, I liked it a lot. And he uses that in connection with the four other blanks. And as your spectator goes through the cards, you'll be able to tell them which cards are blank and which card is the one they wrote down on, all from just looking at the backsides. Hello Bunny is a billet peak combined with spelling to the name the person wrote on the billet. 1818 is a slate writing effect that you will do with a spectator selected card, a broken Sharpie marker tip, and placing it all into the box and then you shake it, and then a name your spectator divines will end up being written on their card. Perfect Mental Epic is Z's take on this classic plot. It's the perfect one ahead with three predictions. Gum Peak, you use a packet of gum for a billet and a peak. It's very deceptive, very creative. And then there's the $100 peak wallet, or is it the $1,000 peak wallet? I think it's $100 peak wallet. Uh, you're able to use your own wallet and your own billets for a wallet peak and then he'll cover some final thoughts. Positives, Z's mentalism is fun, 
Creative and simple, this is a great DVD to get your feet wet in mentalism or as inspiration for some new twists to classic plots. Now, a really good thing about this DVD is before you buy, before you buy, you could go out to YouTube. Well, you're already here. You're already here on YouTube. You could look up some of these effects. Sans Minds has actually posted the live performances, the full live performances from this DVD to their YouTube channel. So you could look up Bunny Star and watch the whole effect. You could watch 1818 and you can also watch Perfect Mental Epic. Now, when you watch Perfect Mental Epic, because you're going to, and I'll put a picture on the screen for a second here. Uh, it's a trick that uses your cell phone as the last reveal, okay? When he's scrolling through his pictures and he's pointing right here, does that look like Xavier Spade to you? Does that look like X? Does he have a picture of Xavier Spade right there on his phone? I think he does. I think that's Xavier Spade. What do you think? Tell me in the comment section below. You think, I, look, go ask Xavier. Ask Xavier if he's buddy buddy, if he's friends with Z, all right? And maybe that's his picture there. I think we should all, we should all have a picture of Xavier Spade in our, in our phone, right? We should. All right, so negatives, what are the negatives? Hey, like I say, there's always negatives to everything. Uh, these are just the things that I see that are negative. They don't have to be the things that you see. And I always wanna try to present uh, the good and the bad in, in everything, right? I wanna present honest and factual reviews for you so that you can make up your own mind as to whether this is gonna work for you. Uh, like I said, out of the 10 tricks, there's two that I would say are not self-working, not self-working and not uh, surefire, okay? Like there'll, there'll, be some, there'll be some issue with it. Breath mint, I would say is not 100%. Uh, it's, you're relying on a stop. It's like a stop force and you're relying on a stop force, but the spectator could miss completely or they, they could uh, run past it too quickly at the very beginning. So th uh, that one might not go the way it should. The other negative for me was there was a name force in one of the tricks and Z says, if you make them think of F, then they'll think of Frank as a name or they'll think of Francesca for a girl's name. And in my head, I was like, ah, but I said Fred in my head. Like when you did the trick for me, in my head, I said Fred, not Frank. Uh, Fred's just one of those funny F names that my brain kind of just always goes to. I don't know, in 2020, if people will just naturally think of Frank, you probably have a friend with an F. I mean, what, you tell me, you tell me in the comment section, would your brain just naturally go to Frank as an F? Like if I said, pick a name that starts with F and you pick, is Frank your first one? Like, I don't know, tell me, tell me I'm wrong. All right, maybe I'm wrong. Is it worth your money? It's 30 bucks, 30 bucks. And I would say of the 10 tricks, if you know, the two that aren't surefire, if that only leaves you with eight, still eight strong mentalism tricks for 30 bucks is still worth it, still worth it. And it, like I said, I think if you're a beginner, these are 10 great tricks to be off and running with. And even if you've been around the block a couple times, like me, uh, there were some creative methods to this. Like his perfect mental epic trick, his one ahead, he was using uh, a notepad instead of billets. And the way he was using the notepad, in my head, I was like, this is brilliant. Like brilliant way to do a one ahead trick uh, without using billets. Just a notepad that you carry around in your pocket. I was like, that's awesome. Like I loved that. And then this Hello Bunny peak, I love that too. I would totally do that. His wallet peak was, was good too. I loved all of it. So uh, th they were great. And I think they're so deceptive and so easy. And that's what you want with mentalism. You don't want to overthink it yourself as the performer, but you also want it to trick your audience member. I think sometimes when you, when you learn those easy mentalism tricks, they're so easy, anybody could figure them out, right? But with these, like I, even when I was watching him, a lot of the times I didn't know what he was doing in that moment. Like he fooled the camera, so he fooled me. So who would like this? I think we already covered that, right? People that are just starting out in mentalism and they wanna just kinda of get their feet wet with 10 tricks or someone who's been around the block a while and they'd like some creative and fresh looks at some classic plots. All right, so that's everything I can say about modern mind reading magic from Z and Sans Minds Creative Labs. Of course, I wanna thank Z, Sans Minds and Murphy's Magic Supplies for allowing me to have this so that I could do the review for you. And if you'd like to purchase it for yourself, you can find it from one of your very favorite Murphy's Magic retailers. Thanks guys, I'll see you next time, bye.